what's going on i have got my hands on a 2020 z650 from kawasaki here at northeast georgia motorsports we're going to do a walk around and talk about some specs on the bike let's get into it we have got the metallic spark black colorway here at northeast georgia motorsports i love this color it's not necessarily the kawasaki green that you're used to seeing on these bikes it's like a high vis yellow and it is very very pearlescent uh, sparky glittery shiny whatever you want to call it it is beautiful it's got trim accents it's got the z logo right there you've got the 650 over here and then right through there you've got the other z logo not too sure why that's still silver they should have went with that all high-vis scheme but that's okay because once you get the full picture of the bike you've got that green trellis frame you've got the green accents on the wheel rim and this bike is sharp the heart of this z650 is a 649 cc inline two cylinder engine but do not let the two cylinders fool you this thing packs a punch this bike is very well engineered and just to give you an idea the exhaust this is a low mount exhaust i don't want to necessarily call it a mid mount but it is a low mount so what happens is you lower the center of gravity on the weight of this bike so what it does is it doesn't make the bike feel as top heavy it doesn't feel as heavy and it makes it that more nimble and agile when you're slaying those corners and leaning this thing over next we'll talk about the abs braking system you have 300 millimeter rotors with a twin piston calipers up on the front this thing will able to stop itself no issues and with abs you should come to a stop safe and sound suspension wise we get a little upside down and i'm not talking about the inverted forkway we have just your standard suspension up front with five inches of travel this bike i would say it's built more for comfort yes you can go to the canyons and mountain and carve the corners on this thing but not like the z900 that bike has got awesome suspension but that's not taken away from this bike this bike is lighter more nimble more agile and you don't really need a beefy super sport suspension to make this bike handle as well as it does this bike's cockpit has a seat height of 31 inches and this bike only weighs 412 pounds weight you want to talk about a light machine we're dipping almost under 400 for a bike this size this height full size right and getting close to that sub 400 range that is awesome by the time you remove the fender the blinkers and do some flush mounts and you know get rid of that exhaust you do a custom aftermarket exhaust you could probably see sub 400 pounds on this machine and if you match that weight with the power of this engine you are going to be flying on this thing price point on this machine you're talking as low as seventy three hundred dollars for this machine that would be the non-abs of course and then if you get the abs you're talking about seventy seven hundred bucks the big difference i know that a bunch of these z models look very very similar the headlights are almost identical but if you look at the z650 you don't have those running led lights on both left and right of the headlight which is you know you got to make each model unique and stand out but you know it shares so many similar components it might get mistaken you know and that's what makes this z lineup great is they look similar they look mean they look aggressive they got that sagomi style and you just can't go wrong with the styling of this bike big thanks to northeast georgia motorsports for letting me come out and put my hands on this bike i recommend you guys come do the same their information is down in the description below come down here check them out check this bike out as well as many more kawasaki suzuki machines this bike is beautiful get on this thing sit on it especially if you're looking for a first bike this and the z400 are definitely top contenders for being the best beginner bike out there hands down i believe that personally the power on this thing it's very easy going it's not super aggressive and if you think it's a little too much maybe the z400 is more your speed but this bike is a blast to ride if you guys have any more questions about this machine leave them down in the comments below let me know what you think about this machine let me know what you think about the colorway 
As always, you guys ride safe, have fun, and we'll see you on the next one.